I discussed the facts about scammers on the Upwork site in my earlier video. Today, I'll go over how to find a trustworthy client on Upwork and how to create a proposal that will land the job. So let's get started. Number 1. Payment Verified You should make sure the payment method has been verified by Upwork before applying for any jobs on the Upwork marketplace. A genuine client should have paid the project pricing when they listed a task on Upwork. The project price may occasionally be listed as $5, but it does not necessarily mean that is the total project cost. On Upwork, some clients posted jobs with a minimum payment of $5 USD. Before beginning any project, you should inquire about the cost. Number 2 5 Star Review Before accepting any project, you should read the client's reviews to ensure that you are working with a real client from Upwork. Recently, some clients have responded by leaving negative reviews and or paying freelancers little while giving them many tasks. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the client's total ratings before working with them. Otherwise, after receiving a project from them, you will have to suffer greatly. Number 3. Average Hourly Paid before submitting a proposal for any project you discover on Upwork, you must first determine the client's typical hourly pricing. It is crucial to understand the client's overall project budget. Before making them a proposal, you should make sure that your hourly fee won't be out of line with their budget. Some customers' hourly rates are too low, therefore you should stay away from them. Number 4. Feedback to Freelancer you should be aware of this additional client information. Some clients refuse to provide feedback even after receiving excellent service. Ask the client for project feedback when the service is finished and you have been paid. You can use it to expand your business. However, certain clients are really narrow-minded, and even after receiving your best efforts, they won't give you positive comments. Some clients will eagerly provide you with excellent feedback about your work when the assignment is over. Number 5. Upwork Enterprise Client If an Upwork Enterprise Client offers you the task or if you see a job posted on the Upwork platform, you can definitely accept the project. This type of client hires a lot of independent contractors and their average hourly pay is higher than that of other clients. Therefore, try your best to acquire employment with them. Right now, I'm explaining to you how to submit a proposal to get a job from Upwork. But before applying for a job, there is something else you should know. Try to submit a proposal as soon as the customer posts the project on Upwork. You will have the best chance of getting the client interview the earlier you send the proposal. One more thing to keep in mind is that you have a good possibility of getting an interview offer if you look for jobs based on your region. The time has come to write the proposal. Number one, read the job instructions with all the specifics attentively after receiving a positive client referral from Upwork. On their job postings, several clients included specific quotes that you should pay attention to. Before beginning your proposal, clients might ask you to write a specific term or statement. They do this to find out if the freelancer read all of the details of their project. Therefore, it is crucial to read all of the job posting's details. Number 2. After giving the specific statement from the job posting that was provided by the client, say hello and express interest in the position. Try to call them by name, if at all possible. Their name is clearly identifiable from the client data. Now explain why you got attracted to this position. Use this shortest statement possible to try to explain. Number 3. You ought to describe your qualifications for executing the project. You should include the amount of time required, the information you possess, and the method you use to execute the assignment. Try to include two work samples or a portfolio of your prior employment information. This is the crucial step in receiving a client interview request. If you don't have experience working on projects comparable to this, you can just tell the client, to be completely honest with you, I don't have any prior experience. However, 
I can assure you that if you give me a chance and give me a few guidelines, I can complete the project swiftly. To learn more about their company, pose a few relevant inquiries concerning their project. Client will then have a far better understanding of you. Number four. You should now give the client a brief introduction of yourself. Mention your academic level and your language abilities, the number of years you have worked. Also specify how fast you type in a minute. This kind of information helps the client have a better understanding of you. Number five. It's time to wrap up your proposal at this point. Allow your client to know you are interested in an interview so they can learn more about your skills and knowledge. Inform them that you are currently fully available to complete the assignment. Please provide relevant examples of your prior work, your learning certificate, and your typing certificate before submitting the proposal. If the client separately provides any questions from their job listing, be sure you respond to them all. That's all. By using this strategy, you will undoubtedly land a client's assignment. You should proofread the proposal before submitting it to ensure that it is worded correctly. Thanks for watching.